Good afternoon, welcome to Hilltop. Going to show you the 2021 Jayco Greyhawk 27U. This is a Class C motorhome. New for 2021 is the V8 EcoBoost that they're now using in their Class Cs. Uh, tried and true engine in their uh, F350s and so they're using them now in their motorhomes. One thing Jayco does, it's a one piece fiberglass cap. If you'll see, there's no seams. Very crucial to have this one piece fiberglass cap because when you're going down the road, if it's a rainstorm beating on this cap, there's no water intruding into your motorhome whatsoever. So they pay a little more for these one piece fiberglass caps, but well worth it. Moving on back, uh, as you can see, you can just kind of open the door very easy in and out of here. Um, We'll look around at the other side too, how easy it is to get in the driver's side door. You can see you do have a window up in the cap, which is very nice to have when you're, uh, the kids are riding up there and seeing what's going on. As we move on back, we do have outdoor speakers on the unit. We do have LED lighting throughout the outside and the inside. It also has smart lighting, so when you're going down the road and you flip on that right blinker, your right uh, lights on the side here will blink, letting, your, uh, letting others on the road know what your intentions are. Couple things here, we got some storage here with a cable hookup and a uh, outlet for if you want to put an outdoor TV in. Here's your, uh, where you fill your propane. This is your propane tank here. Back side of your fridge and back side of your water heater. We do have the frameless windows, very nice because the seams are tucked behind here so not being dried out and uh, deteriorate with uh, UV light. They do open swinging out where you can have them open if it's raining out which is a nice feature back side of your furnace here another little storage compartment here another one on the back here another little storage compartment there you do have your awning power complete power awning with uh, an outdoor light right up above the door that's very nice to have come on back we'll show you the back side here we do have our square bumper to hold your sewer hose, which is nice to have, so it's not in any storage compartment being uh, stinking up the place. You do have a 7,500 tow capacity with a seven pin plug already uh, ready to go for you. Roof ladder to get up again and maintain that roof. Back here is where you'll, uh, this is where you can hook up your black tank flush, your water for your, uh, from the uh, campground your water pump, your outdoor shower, uh, winterizing, everything done right in this compartment, very easy. Another little storage compartment there. Bigger one here. Good size storage there. Slam latches, all you have to do is slam the doors and they'll shut for you. A little bit more storage underneath here. Uh, Fit some lawn chairs and what have you in there. And then the last thing up here, this compartment, well, we got one more here is your uh, power cord. And then this one up here is your uh, gas, quiet gas, 4,000 watt Onan generator to power the unit. And that generator will run everything on the unit uh, if you're out in the middle of a field boondocking. It does have a rear camera to be able to see when you're backing up. It also has the side view cameras. So when you flip on your right blinker, that camera will show you on the screen in the uh, dash what's over in your right lane. You want to come up front just for one last thing here. We'll show you the, uh, again, inside to get in. Very, uh, very simple to get inside the unit from either the passenger or driver's door. And then you also have your coach door for others to get in too as well. Now let's take a look on the inside of the 27U. All right, now we're inside the Greyhawk 27U. Uh, start from the front here, pointing out some things. We got our overhead bunk, 750 pound capacity, so definitely adult friendly, very big, kids love it. Uh, does have a ladder to get the kids up there. Uh, you can certainly take the ladder, put it out of the way. And the nice thing is you can fold this out of the way as well, so you're not hitting your head when you get down in the driver and passenger seat. Another uh, new thing that Ford started doing is they cut the opening for their cab a little bit more. So now these seats can rotate so you can face back talking to your people. Comes with uh, 
one of these cushions to lay right on the seat so it boosts you up and your knees aren't in your face as you're up this step with your legs. So very neat uh, feature. Starting to see them in more and more of the Ford chassis. Here we have a face-to-face -face dinette. Uh, can be turned into a bed position very easily. Jayco's uh, tables that just swing right down and go down to the lip, put the cushions in. In the morning, just comes right back up, lock it into place, you're set to go. Very simple, very easy to do. Uh, one other feature, Jayco puts a seat belt in every seated position. So there's going to be two, four, six, seven, eight seat belts in here. Some of your manufacturers won't put a seat belt on the rear facing. It's not required, and they don't want to pay the pull test, and it gets very expensive. So face-to-face uh, -face dinette with seat belts in every position. Here we have theater seating here. Uh, cup holders and a little storage space for remotes and what have you in there. They do recline, which is nice. Very simple to do. Again, seat belts in every position. We do have storage up above this. I know storage is a premium in uh, campers, so we'll point out the storage as we uh, walk through the unit. Another storage space up here. And uh, as we move back, we'll talk about the kitchen. So in the kitchen area, you do have a double sink with a strainer and a cutting board. Very nice to have. A little bit of a extension here to add uh, to your prep area. Again, more cabinet space here. Space above the microwave. You do have a microwave oven here and an oven and three burner stove below it. You do have three drawers here in the kitchen area. Again, all fully open drawers with four sided wood with the front face panel. We do use the 75 pound ball bearing glide drawer slides. Can handle quite a bit of weight in there. You do have yourself an eight cubic foot refrigerator and a freezer as well. This is a gas and electric unit here so you can run it off the propane or uh, shore power electric at your campsite. Next to it, beautiful uh, pantry. Please know the option is you can go with a bigger fridge, but you do lose your option. If you go with a 13.5 cubic foot fridge, you lose the pantry area because the fridge is obviously wider. We're now in the bedroom area of the Greyhawk. Uh, a few things to point out to you. Uh, the bed does fold. And the reason that is, is because this is on a slide, so that slide's going to come close to this wall. So then when you get to your destination, you can uh, put the slide out and have your full bed. You'll see above the bed there's a couple of lights. You can see one's blue, one's white. They can do either or, kind of a night light or a reading light. We do have some storage completely above the uh, bed as well. Uh, you do have windows on each side of the uh, slide, which is nice for a cross ventilation in here. And the back window opens up as well. Do have a TV in the bedroom here, bracket for TV, outlet, and a US, or excuse me, a cable port here. So we have more storage as well, too, in the rear of the coach back here in the bedroom with these two huge cabinets, one being a wardrobe with adjustable shelves, the other one with two shelves. And then you have three dresser drawers here as well, offering you more, uh, more storage back here in the bedroom. Bathroom is a stool, sink, and a uh, shower with a skylight in it. Uh, you do have a window in the bathroom, which is very nice, especially that you can open it up and get some ventilation in here. Uh, you do have some storage below the sink and then some drawers, doors, and medicine cabinet as well below those. And right outside the bathroom here is a huge wardrobe uh, closet there, cabinet. And then again, fully opening drawers. You can put a, quite a bit of clothes in there and it's deep and it's uh, deep and then also deep in height. Here you have a pocket door for the bedroom. So simply uh, just bring that over, click it shut, she's locked, you have privacy. Opening it back up is very simple. And then just to point out too, if you're looking up at the ceiling, you do have air conditioning. The central unit is here. Does have an option to get a second one in the bedroom. However, we do have vents, two, four, six, eight, nine AC vents throughout the unit, distributing that cold air throughout the camper. So it'll stay cool back here in the bedroom. The heat, same way, you do have a heat one down there by the floor, another one back here, another one here below the fridge. So your heat will uh, get distributed as well throughout the coach. Thank you for checking out our video. Should you like to check out this camper or any additional ones, visit us in Alexandria, Brainerd, Rochester, or Friendly Fridley. Thanks and Come see us.